Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another edition of Making You a Bartending Pro. I'm Jason. Today we're gonna learn the original Mai Tai recipe. Now this was created by Victor Bergeron, AKA Trader Vic up in, I believe, Oakland, California. So basically this is a real simple drink that is essentially kind of like a rum sour where you just have a citrus drink or um, excuse me, like a citrus juice base and then you have your main alcohols and that's kind of it, a little bit of a sweetener in there and then you're good to go. So in this one, our main alcohol is an aged rum of your choice and we're gonna have a modifier of orange curacao. You can maybe use like a Cointreau if you wanted to get fancy with your orange curacao selection in this. I'm just gonna use this basic orange curacao here. And then you'll see rock candy syrup, which is just kind of a more slightly thicker and sweeter simple syrup. I'm just gonna use simple syrup because I'm, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this stuff anyway, so I don't want it too sweet. And then orgia syrup. Now orgia, or as you'll look at it, it looks like orgeet. This is an almond flavored liqueur and it smells very much like an amaretto because amaretto is an almond flavored liqueur. And so we're gonna use that. That's like our flavoring ingredient. And then lime juice. Now, because these have been made with excessive amounts of juices, sometimes you make these into a tall glass, but this recipe with just the simple ingredients that it is, we're just gonna make it into a short glass. So I'm gonna make this into a mixing tin and then I'm gonna pour it into the glass. Now, this recipe calls for the juice from half of a lime. So I'm gonna take and make a little bit of a peel off of this because I'm gonna use that as the garnish after this drink is done. Now, you'll see these things garnished with all kinds of crazy stuff, pineapple wedges and orange peels and it just looks like fruit salad coming out of it but supposedly the original recipe is either just a lime or lime and mint. So I'm just gonna do a lime. I'm gonna take the juice of half a lime here and I'm gonna squeeze this in here and I'm gonna leave this whole thing in there so that I can shake it and it'll help release more of the juices. Now I have my little conversion metrics here, a half to three quarters of an ounce of a lime juice, which is about 22-ish milliliters of lime juice. Careful in the lime juice, you don't wanna to go too heavy because it can overpower this drink. Then we would need a quarter ounce of rock candy syrup. Quarter ounce in milliliters is a, just not quite 15 milliliters. I'm just gonna put a little tiny splash of this because I don't want this too sweet. And it's the same amount of the orgia syrup, your almond flavored syrup. No alcohol in this, this is just flavoring. So again, quarter of an ounce or a little less than 15 milliliters. Just a little bit. I don't want too much of this stuff because it'll overpower the drink. I personally like the lime juice and you wanna taste the alcohols. And then it's a half ounce to two ounce. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, conversions, 15 milliliters. Two ounces is almost 60 milliliters of dark rum of your choice. Then I'm gonna put this little glass on top. Just gonna give it a few shakes so that it kind of gets that all mixed together. You don't necessarily have to do this. This isn't necessarily part of the original drink as far as I can tell, but this is just how I prefer to prepare this one. I'm gonna dump this into my glass like that. Put my little lime peel on there. I'm gonna do a fun little trick. You can take a lighter, any sort of a citrus peel. The oils, when you squeeze it, you'll see the little See how that flames? And then you just drop that on there, and voila. Mmm, that is delicious. And definitely much more drinkable than the grenadine and pineapple and orange laced sweet sugary versions that you'll see made so often nowadays. Mmm, very delicious, refreshing. That would be an epic poolside vacation cocktail. So there you go, the most famous tiki drink of all time, the Mai Tai. If you are a Mai Tai expert or if you have some more information about the background and history of where this drink actually came from, please feel free to share in the comments below. But this is definitely one, if you can get it made in a proper way, is one that's worth trying, especially if you love rum-based cocktails. All right, so that's it for this one. If you're a new viewer, maybe think about subscribing. My name's Jason. This is Make You a Bartending Pro. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.